Hello princesses! Today I'm going to be talking about the Holika Holika Pearly Doe Blusher Pearly Flash Collection. I keep forgetting what these are called because it doesn't say Pearly Doe on here at any point in time. Um, <laughs> so I genuinely forgot what these were called for quite a while. I picked these up when I picked up the rest of the Pearly Flash Collection. I was interested because the packaging is really beautiful and I just like the look of the products basically. They're kind of like little sparkly blushes. This is one that I'm wearing at the moment which is Peach Way and you can see it on my cheek here at the moment. So if you like luminous products like this there is a good chance that you might like these blushes. If you do not like a sparkly cheek I've got bad news for you. <laughs> They're all sparkly. So for these ones, the product description says, a blusher infused with sparkling pearl powder to create a glowy shimmer cheeks. Its lightweight and jelly-like texture contains shine essence oil, which adheres smoothly on the skin without clumping. Enclosed with a mini puff and mirror, which allows a simple application for everyone. The packaging of these products is really pretty. I love how the white on the outside kind of has like a pearlescent finish, and then it has gold accents, which I just think are really pretty. This is kind of like a cushion puff in the way that it has a little um, thing on top that holds the puff basically. So there is a cushion puff on top which is a bit stickier than the normal cushion puff would be, but still works. Underneath is the blusher which has an interesting texture. It is soft like a jelly, but also if you just touch it gently with a finger it feels like a powder. So it's a really weird mix between the two. There are three shades in the collection, a peach, a pink and a more burnt orange colour which is actually very pretty. So I already have number one peach way applied to the skin so I'm not going to reapply it, but this is how it looks. This one is the most subtle so the hardest one to see. But you can definitely see how luminous it looks on the skin. You can see like a little bit of a small line there. So this one is really pretty. I probably use this one the most out of all of them because it's the most subtle. I feel like I don't have to um, apply, well I do have to apply a bit more of it, but it just looks a little bit less intense than the other ones do. So this is number one, Peach Way. The next shade is number two, Rose Shell, which is a pretty pink. So I'm going to show you guys how to apply it with the puff. So what you do is you basically put the puff inside and give it like a little wiggle basically. So the puff, you can't just like go up and down. It does pick up product and then you just kind of place it on your cheek like that. That is probably a little bit too much for today, but that's okay. Um, I didn't put any powder down on my cheek just before, um, just because I wanted to see how it would look. So that is Rose Shell. You can see no blusher on this side and there it is there. Super subtle still, but really, really beautiful. On the other side, I'm going to show you guys how it looks if you use a powder brush. So you just dip the powder brush in like this, give it a good like smush to pick things up, and then give it a good smush onto the face as well. So rather than gently, gently swiping across like I normally would, because it is a jelly consistency, I feel like you need to push the brush, the bristles, on the inside to pick up the product. This way, you get a little bit less of the actual shimmer. So you can see there's the side with the cushion, uh, with the cushion puff, and that side there without definitely has less luminescence to it, but also it is a little bit more sheer too. So what I like to do is I like to go over the sides of the one where I used the cushion puff to apply it. Why are my words deserting me right now? And then just blend it out that way because I feel like the cushion puff picks up the product a little bit better and places it on the skin but it sucks in terms of blending it. <laughs> That's just my opinion though. I really enjoy the color of this one. It is a really pretty pink with like a little bit of gold-ish shimmer, which I think is really nice. So this is number two, Rose Shell. The third shade is called Coral Drape, and this one is kind of like a burnt pumpkin kind of color, which I surprisingly like. Here it is. So I'm gonna use the puff again to apply getting a little bit more. You can layer these up, which is pretty good. So you can get a more intense color if you want to. Um, the more you put on, the more sparkle you're going to get. So just be wary of that. If you want something that's really, really pigmented, you're also going to get the shimmer that comes along with it. So this one is really pretty. I actually really like it a lot. So this is the cheeks without. And then with. So I'm going to apply the second side as well and then I'm actually going to zoom you guys in to show you what the actual close-up and the glitters look like. Although the lighting is terrible because we're in that weird part of the um, time of year 
where it's gonna be daylight saving soon. So like I can film until later, which is lovely, but the lighting is really kind of like in the wrong place. So there's still sunlight, but it's just not shining into where I would like it to. So just blending that up with my blush brush. There we go. So this is how the product looks close up. I'm sorry for the weird angle, um, but my, my battery died and I just have to hold the camera. So you can see that close up, you can see a little bit of shimmer, but not too much glitter. I think that some of the other colors maybe have a little bit more glitter than this one do. But you can also see how it affects the texture of the skin. My skin looks really textured um, and not in a good way. So there are advantages and disadvantages to having the shimmer and the glitter in the formula. So this is shade number three, Coral Drake. So for these blushes, I like them, but they're not for me for reasons that I will get into in just a little bit. So let's start out with the packaging. I think that the packaging is a little bit bulky for the product because it does contain that cushion puff. Because it's containing a cushion puff, I do like that they have included the mirror as well as the little barrier, which I, I need a, word, a better word for this thing, this little plastic thing that lets the cushion puff sit on top. It does mean that the collection is quite big. So this is how big all three of them are. When you put them into your collection, if you have a bigger collection like me, it's going to take up a fair bit of room so for me that makes it me really have to decide if I really truly love these um, because I would need to make space for them. <laughs> colors are really beautiful I think that all three of the colors are really beautiful they're pretty they look nice on my skin and they work really well so I have no problems with the color range I think that they did a really good job picking the colors for these ones and they all look lovely. The application is the part that gets me a little bit there are two ways to apply them. There is the first way, which is using the cushion puff. This way you are going to get the most shimmer or glitter on your cheeks, but you are going to get a less blended line. The second way is to use a powder brush. This way you're not going to get as much of the uh, powder or the uh, sparkles, <laughs> the luminescence on your cheeks because the powder brush is going to kind of flick it away a little bit. It's harder because you have to pick up more of the product and it's a jelly-like consistency so it doesn't work quite as well, but you do get a better blend. So I personally would be putting them on with the cushion puff then using a brush to blend around the outside. That is what works best for me, but it does mean that you have to use two things, which I think is a little bit annoying, um, but it is a jelly-like application. So that kind of just comes with the territory sometimes. In terms of longevity and the way that they look, they do last all day. I have no problems with the longevity and I haven't had any weird smudging. In terms of how they look though, they are very luminous, very luminescent. Um, the color of the blush is not that pigmented. So I have to work really hard to get the color to show on my skin. And when I do that, I get a lot of glitter and a lot of sparkle. For me, I think it's cute sometimes, but a lot of the time, I feel like it's too much for me. Um, it makes my skin look a little bit more textured. So if I'm getting the sparkles or the luminousness, luminescence uh, in this part of the skin here where I have more pores, so right beside my nose, kind of like where my pupil is, um, it doesn't look good. It looks kind of aging on me. So it's definitely not the right formula for everybody. However, it does feel nice, like it's not sticky or anything. It just doesn't really flatter my skin. I think for me personally, even though I do really like these in some certain situations, I will be letting them go just because they are really big um, and bulky. I'm not gonna be able to store them very easily, which is going to be frustrating for me. Um, and I don't like the product enough and I can't see myself using it all the time so they're probably not going to be products that stay in my collection however if you are someone who likes a really luminous beautiful finish to a blush and you like these three colors it is one that i would recommend because they are genuinely very beautiful so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next review bye